Yo, what's the deal, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Deposits. Today, I'm coming at you again with another in-home workout. Today, though, small caveat, we're using two dumbbells, all right? So you gotta have two pieces of equipment. Dumbbells, you can get them from Amazon, Target. They're pretty easy to find, and you don't need heavy weight for what we're about to do here today. Because we're working with weight, the time will be condensed to 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. We'll have six exercises, and we'll run through it four times. That'll give us a 20-minute workout in home full of compound movements, some core activation, glute activation, and some mobility to kind of keep us nice and loose throughout the workout. So it should be fun. I want you guys to follow me along. If you haven't already, let's be sure to follow me on Instagram and if you're in the LA area and you're looking for private one-on-one -on -one or group training you can find the link below in the description without further ado let's go ahead and get to it I got my mat here I'm already set up I'm ready for you guys okay so I got my timer set up as usual per usual again like I said we're running for uh, 35 seconds of work 25 seconds of rest there will be six movements okay I'm gonna go through it one time with you guys but you guys We'll follow along three more times after this, okay? So the first movement, we'll run through a Superman, followed by Scorpion on the right, Scorpion on the left. The next movement, we'll flip over on our backs, we'll glute bridge up, and we got alternating marches. Keeping those hips up in that bridge position, all right, marching those knees up right to left. We'll roll over to our front, we'll start in the front plank, we'll rotate to one side, we'll tap that hip, then roll over to the other side and tap that hip, okay? Total core work, we'll work the obliques. All right, it'll be nice and fun. It'll be really challenging as this thing picks up. We'll then stand up. All right, our first movement will be with the dumbbells. We'll do a RDL to a bent over double row. Moving on, we'll keep those dumbbells in our hands. We'll reverse lunge, hammer curl. Stand up, alternating sides, reverse lunge, and hammer curl. And last but not least, we'll finish with the dumbbells again. We got a low squat to a high pull. Those six movements is what's on the menu today. All these compound movements are great for building lean muscle and burning calories. Let's get right into it. Oh! Ghost. Chill, fam. No. All right. Three, Timer starting. Two, one, go. Superman, arms out to the side. Scorpion. Scorpion. Superman up, Scorpion, Scorpion to the right, Scorpion to the left. All right, I'm activating here in the Superman. All right, I'm getting some mobility work on the Scorpion. All right, 10 seconds of work left, Scorpion up. I mean, Superman up, Scorpion right, Scorpion left. Ah, beautiful, nice. We got the glute bridge marches coming up next. Sheesh, need some grip. Okay, here we go. Rolling in 10. All right, so again, the bridge is up the entire time. Keep the hips up. Begin. March right, hips staying at the same level, march left. Warming up those glutes, getting activated, getting ready to work. We're gonna need it as we pick up them dumbbells. Keep the hips up, stay in that bridge the entire time. Drive that knee up. I'm already warm. It's crazy. Resting. Ooh, all right. Front plank, rotation, hip tap, all right? So front plank, we'll rotate over to the side, we'll tap that hip, all right, getting back, uh, keep getting those hips back up, then rotate back to the front, all right? So I like to turn my fist inside to help me rotate, preparing to work. Begin. All right, so I'll rotate to the side, my hip tap, rolling back over, always come back to center. Roll over to the side, Hip tap, back to center. So very important to get back to center and very important to keep the hips up here, even as we tap. Five seconds of work. Resting. 
that'll be that last rep here. Okay, moving on to the weights. Okay, now remember what I said here, we got two rows at the bottom of the RDL, okay? So this is where things get fun. Compound movements, this is where we're gonna burn. This is where the world work is gonna set in at. All right, so the first, we use the first three movements so it's slightly as a warm up to get prepared for this. So I'm gonna RDL, I'm gonna hinge at the, hip, at the hips, okay? Forming a nice straight line to my back. Bam, two rows, I'll come up. Back down, nice straight line, two rows, coming up, okay? So the movement is always initiated at the hips. My back is always flat at the bottom. If you need help doing so, a good way to think about that posture from the jump, think about pulling your shoulders back, keeping your chest up, okay? The vision should come down with you every time. Ooh. Two more movements, two more movements. So each circuit should take you roughly about five minutes and 25 seconds, somewhere around there, I think it should be. So the total workout should be 20 minutes, okay? Next up, reverse lunge, hammer curl, okay? We'll alternate on the reverse lunge. We'll step back, Begin. keeping that chest up, hammer curl, step back up, alternating sides. Core's gotta be tight. All right, we're gonna be challenged here, coming down. The objective is to control ourselves. All right, keeping our chest up, taking a nice step back, forming a 90 degree angle from our knees to our ankles. All right, getting it in. All right, I didn't mention, but we definitely wanna pick a weight that we don't have to change and that we can keep the entire time for every movement, okay. So last but not least, last movement of, of the circuit, we got a low squat, high pull with the dumbbells, okay? So important, keep that butt down, your chest up, okay? And when we pull, think about keeping those elbows high, think about bringing your wrists, fists to your chin, okay? Here we go. Butt down, chest is up, elbows high. Ooh. You control the pace here, okay? Someone like myself, I realize this is gonna be the one for me. So I'm gonna take my time and get quality reps in here. Cause again, we're dealing with weight here. So the movement won't be as fast as it has been with our body weights. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Always oh, gotta get that last one. Sheesh, we're resting 45 seconds. Start round two. See, I got my heart rate up. I'm breathing good. This is good. That, ladies and gentlemen, completes our first in-home workout using dumbbells. All right, so what do we say next? Oh yeah, be sure to comment which workout you guys thought was the best. Bang that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check the description. I'm putting clickable links to everything that I use today. Be on the lookout for merch coming soon. Be sure to check our other videos out if you haven't already. And last but not least, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's literally right here. It's the easiest one, two. Three. You don't even have to count. It's right here, just click it. And so uh, until next time, I'm out. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, bro. Hey, I'm saying I